Here with Stephanie Meadow. Steph, just another day. Uh, do you feel like you're kind of getting the hang of this golf course <laughs> just when it's needed? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, the last two days played a lot different. Today was, um, you know, a lot nicer. We got really lucky with the weather, but, um, you know, it's a it's a great golf course. You have to hit good shots. You can't hack your way around, that's for sure. And um, I'm just focusing on trying to hit, you know, to the center of the greens a lot of the time and, and go from there. All right. I'll start it off with Jeff. It's a great way to start with a birdie on one, not seeing many of those. What would you do there? And yeah, um, I hit driver and then I had like, I hit six irons. So I had 180 something um, and uh, hit an unbelievable six iron actually. It was a great way to start the day um, and then made the putt. So uh, yeah, great start. And, and generally the day, um, you know, you're, you're finding birdies out there. And mm -hmm. What was the quality of your golf? Yeah, um, you know, putter got hot a little bit, um, which is always nice, but um, I hit a lot of really good shots as well, gave myself a lot of opportunities, and um, just didn't put myself in any terrible spots, which is also a big key out here. All right, Sarah? Steph, I know it's not been the season you've been looking for, but you found something last week at Meyer mm -hmm. finishing T13, best finish of the season. What did you find and how much confidence and momentum did that give you heading into this week? Yeah, I just have a much better swing thought going on. Um, and I think that gave me some confidence to see some irons fly really good. Um, it had been kind of trending that way in practice and at home, but that was the first week where I finally saw it. So it was great to see that um, kind of transpire last week. And then I knew on a tough golf course like this, if I could just hit the same shots and I'd be doing pretty good. I got married a, a few weeks, maybe a month now ago? Two months, yeah. yeah two yeah, months ago. Yeah. I mean, to have that perspective away from yeah. the game, how much has that helped you when things aren't really going your way out here on the course? Yeah, um, you know, I have a great life. I'll put it that way. I do what I love. Um, you know, a golf is not who I am, but it's what I do. And I have a family back home, um, a doggy, in-laws, mother, you know, everybody um, that supports me. So no matter what happens out here, I go back to that. And uh, you can't ask for much more. How much are you looking forward to being in contention um, at this golf course, at this venue, at this major championship? Yeah, I mean, this is why we practice, right? Um, that's it. <laughs> like, um, this is why I do what I do, and um, I'm just going to enjoy it. All right, down here in front. Stephanie, for those of us who are just getting to know you, describe how close you are with Leona McGuire and what it means to you maybe right now to see the two of you in the top three of the same major. Yeah, um, I can't think of anything much better for Irish women's golf, um, which is incredible. Uh, we've been close. We've, I mean, we've known each other since... Oh, I mean, she was probably 10 and I was 13 or something like that. So um, it's been quite the journey together for both of us to make it. Um, obviously, it was, you know, I was there last week when she won. It was great to kind of share that moment with her. I know how hard she works. I mean, I know how hard everybody works out here. Um, but, yeah, we're great friends and we stay, some, stay on the road together sometimes. So uh, it's just great for Irish golf. Do you have a particular favorite memory of the two of you growing up playing junior golf together or anything? Um, <laughs> there's lots. Um, I think, oh gosh, I don't know. I mean, I'll put it this way. I knew her when she was reading Harry Potter books, so that was a long time ago. <laughs> and then if I could have one more on a different topic, what do you think of the par five, par five ending to mm -hmm. around it a major and what kind of opportunities might that open up at the tail end of tomorrow? I, they're both great holes. Um, if you don't hit the fairway, you're in big trouble. Um, you know, I, I didn't hit the fairway in 18 today, but got lucky with the line, was able to get over the water. The last two days, I've hit it in the exact same spot, one yard off the fairway, and I've had to hack out 50 yards. So, um, you know, great risk reward. Um, anything can happen coming in there, um, especially on 18. Thanks. We're going to go first down here, and then to Beth Ann, and then to Juan. So, down here first. Hello. Uh, can you talk about being in this position? I mean, you've won in Europe, you've never won here. I mean, are you sitting there going, just keep it going or do you press the gas or what? Um, yeah, I mean, I think pedal to the metal, <laughs> you know. Um, I, I just try to do my best and um, obviously, you know, I've been out on tour for a long time, oh, nine years, and um, I want the win just as much as anybody else. So, um, but at the same time, I need to stay within myself and hit, you know, focus on the process. And, but at the end of the day, I want to win and I'm not shy about being competitive. Did your time at Alabama take away your brogue a little bit? Yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm sure everybody's making fun of me. Yeah, and now y'all, yeah. <laughs> All right, back here to Beth Ann. Stephanie, your professional career started off with a bang mm -hmm. uh, at a major. If you could go back, what would you tell that, that younger player then about what this journey is like, what oh. it takes? 
Um, it's had a lot of ups and downs, that's for sure. Um, probably a little more downs than I had anticipated standing there <laughs> when I finished my first event. Um, but, you know, I still get to do what I love. Um, no matter how hard it seems sometimes, um, you have to put it into pr perspective. Um, but, you know, it is nice to know that although that was quite some time ago now, that I still did it and I'm still that person. So um, I think I can still draw on that um, going into tomorrow. All right, going to go to Juan first and Max. So, Stephanie, we still have memories of the celebrations of Shane Laurie when he won the Open, <laughs> the Epic celebrations. I mean, if an Irish, Irish woman wins tomorrow here, what kind of celebration do we expect here and in Ireland? No? Yeah, I can imagine Port Rush will be... Uh, There'll be lots of drinks flowing, but um, you know I always feel the support from home. Um, you know, I, obviously I've been gone for quite some time now, but I go back three, four, five times a year. Um, I still have family there, a lot of support. Um, you know, and every time we have an event in Ireland, there's loads and loads of people that come out. So um, I know they're written for both of us, um, and I hope that we can inspire some young girls in the process. One. That one. one. That was one. Oh, that was one. Sorry. <laughs> Is there another Juan? Juan <laughs> <laughs> to Max. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you look at the leaderboard right now and see that you're just one off, I, what kind of comes to mind? Are you surprised? Do you, did you feel something like this was coming? What's, what's kind of your the first thing that comes to mind when you see the leaderboard right now? Um, I definitely felt great yesterday. Um, you know, I played some really solid golf. I probably hit the ball a tiny bit better yesterday than I did today, but I made some more putts today, and that's what the name of the game. So, um, you know, never surprised. I, I want to see my name up there. Um, it's been quite the journey this year so far, but, um, you know, I guess I expected maybe people to go a little bit more in front, so I'm happy to be kind of done an hour early and still only, you know, one, two back, whatever it might be. And have you thought about, you know, what possibly 24 hours from now, you know, what, how your life could possibly be changed or just kind of staying in the moment and, and getting ready for tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we all think about it. That's our dream. Um, I think it would be silly to say that I don't think about it, but um, I think about it, but I know what I have to do to get the job done. Um, and so I'll just stay in the process and uh, get a good night rest if I can and come out and give it my all tomorrow. All right. Oh, wrap with Babs. When you're on the green, as you are last week in Michigan, watching a good friend win, mm -hmm. how much inspiration do you draw from that? And does that play any role into this week and your excitement for the week? Yeah, well, I mean, I think when you, you know, you play practice rounds with someone and you play with someone and you see that they can win, I'm sure, you know, it gives you confidence that, well, like, I can do that too. Um, so there's always that aspect. But um, I think just, you know, seeing, I don't know, I mean, it's a great experience even if it's not me, right? Um, for her to win, to see her hard work pay off, um, you know, and I had a great week last week too. So um, just drew on all that experience. Um, it was fun. All right. Thank you, Steph. Thanks, thank you. Steph.